So we don't have a slideshow for you, but we have some fun pictures that um, about what our software does. My name is Mike Clifton. I'm a senior software engineer at Smith Micro Software. And um, this is Victor Paredes. He's the product manager. We're uh, going for the, the prize for close and far. So we're located in this building. Um, so that's the close prize. And Victor is here um, from Santiago, Chile. So he's probably the person that's traveled furthest to get to the new tech meetup tonight. Um, um, Smith Micro is a larger company that uh, creates mobility and connectivity software. But here in Santa Cruz, we have a division that um, creates graphics and animation products and consumer software. The product we're showing you tonight is uh, called Moho. And Moho is a product that I created back in 1999. I quit my job. Um, I was uh, involved in some 3D animation work, and I decided that 3D animation is really, really hard. So when you see a movie by Pixar or something, the, the effects are great. The, the visuals are beautiful and fantastic. But if you watch the list of credits after the movie, it goes on for miles and miles and miles. And so what I wanted to do was to create a product that um, independent animators, hobbyists, or small groups of people could create cartoons with. So Moho is a 2D animation product for cartoon style animation. And my thinking is that even though movies are all going 3D and stuff, if you turn on your TV and go to Cartoon Network or the Disney Channel or something, it's full of uh, 2D cartoons still. That's not, that hasn't gone away. Um, and our users are, are doing that. We have uh, people like uh, an animation studio in Ireland called Cartoon Saloon. They created a, a feature film called Song of the Sea, and they used Moho in part of that. Um, it was nominated for an Academy Award. Unfortunately, it didn't win. Disney always wins those. Disney or Pixar. But it's a beautiful movie. Um, you missed it at the Nickelodeon here, but it's worth renting if you haven't seen that. They also uh, do a TV series that's also from Song of the Sea. On Netflix, um, Pop and Rock is a kid's TV show that they create. And that one uses Anime Studio Moho. I'll explain that in a second. It uses our product, Moho, um, pretty much for all the characters, all the animation in that program. So I'm jumping back and forth between Moho and Anime Studio because I haven't gotten used to it yet. But the product was originally named Moho. Um, for the last 10 years, it's been called Anime Studio. And then uh, in a few days now, we're about to release the 12th major version, and we're going back to the Moho name. Um, we have animators that have been using it for years and years, and they never got used to the Anime Studio thing. And um... <laughs> So Victor is going to do a little demo of what uh, some of the things the software can do. Victor has been using the software for over 12 years, um, one of the original Moho guys, so he's going to switch to the actual program and show us something. Do you want the microphone? Yeah, I, okay. I don't. Oh, thank you. OK, hi. Um, I want to show you a little how the software works. So for instance, we have this animation here. Um, this is one animation with comics with the software. So if we go to this character here, uh, you can see it has a skeleton, and we can modify that. So we can animate moving all these. And we have different uh, levers here, so we can simulate 3D rotation or move the eyes of the bag and different stuff. So you create the pose, uh, and then you get the, the animation. So everything here is flat, but the space is organized in 3D. So that's, that way we can have a parallax effect when the camera, camera moves. We also have. Uh, you can take a single picture. This is a, a picture from a friend, and you can create a mesh over that picture. And uh, let me show you here. Um, okay, so you can create very quickly a mesh, um, and after that, you can animate that mesh. <laughs> so we have that animation, and we can just go here and start modifying that, and it is very quick, and I am modifying the animation. 
so it's a very fun to use software. <laughs> um, I want to show you a little how this works, so I just created a simple alien face. And I will create a couple bones here, so now I can just bend the face. And I can also create another kind of bone, which we call a smart bone. And I will name this uh, head turn, okay? And I will create uh, an action. Let me see. Okay, so basically what I will tell the software that every time this bone rotates to the right, the point of this character will move this way. I will try to make this well and quickly. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I am just moving the points, I can adjust the curvature, the color, or whatever I want. So once I do that, I go back here, and now I can modify my alien here, but I can also use this and create a head turn. Wow. So Mike is the creator of this software, and he's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> so you can combine both. So for instance, here I have an image. And this image also has a mesh I created. So I have the lever here, and I can modify <laughs> one single image. So it looks cool, and you can modify that. Of course, in some places, it doesn't look that cool. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, right? yeah, but, so you can create very, very cool stuff, and very quickly. So the idea of the software is, I think we are the only software that is offering a non-traditional 2D uh, animation system. So we can create traditional animation, which is draw frame by frame, but the idea here is combine that with different technologies. So we have, uh, for instance, this animation. Uh, okay. So. We have uh, different meshes, moving images, we have a bone system, we have a particle system, so you can see how the dust is falling, that is totally automatic. Uh, it was created by, by the software. I mean, I made that, but the software <laughs> multiplied. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have a very, very powerful software, and it was created here in Santa Cruz. Yeah.